Hey beautiful people, it is Kik, it's a Harley back again with another video. Today I decided to do a little Q&A, like a chit chat, paint with me session. I'm going to be painting this wooden fork thing. Well, I'm repainting it because it's kind of like peeling off and it looks a little rusty right now. So I'm just going to revive it up with some paint while answering some of your questions because I have so many questions. So I was like, this is a good idea to actually like answer some of them while I paint. So we're going to do that. One, two, three, let's go. I just realized that I was missing a palette, so I went to go get that. I don't know where my palette is, so I just, I'm just going to use this cardboard for now. And yeah, I'm just trying to mix. I don't know if I should keep this gray or like get, um, use a new color. But I think I'm going to use this one because it's still nice. And I need to mix the exact same color. Well, it doesn't have to be exact, the exact same color, but let's see. I don't even still remember how to mix paint. But anyway, while I mix, let's get to the first question. So, okay, this person is asking, when is the next recruitment in your cruise line? And what is the salary of a security job? Recruitment in my cruise line, I know they're always recruiting. I am saying that because every time when I go to the website, there is always positions there. It might not be the position that you currently want, but there's always positions when I go online and if it's not the one you want, you can just wait until they upload it and it becomes available. But I know that they're always recruiting. And let's say, okay, you wanted this specific cruise line for this um, position. If um, they're not hiring for whatever position you wanted at that cruise line, apply at other cruise lines as well, you know, because you have options in so many cruise lines. So <laughs> yeah, you're not restricted to where, where you can apply. So yeah, you have the options and then in terms of salary for securities i have no idea because i i'm in the entertainment department so i don't go around asking people these salaries but if i were to estimate i think probably something over like it's probably like a something over a thousand dollars i know it's not less than that yeah but yeah let's get to the next question <laughs> The next one says, do you feel that most South Africans don't have a lot of information going about applying for cruise lines? Um, hmm. I think, okay, yes, yes. I think a lot of South Africans don't, they don't have a lot of information when it comes to applying. That is true. But I feel like if you wanted the information, you can get it, you know. There's um, Google, there's so many TikTokers that work on cruise ships that post about these things online as well i know google was my best friend when i was applying so yeah the only problem i struggled with when i was applying is that yes i would find like youtubers where they talk about their cruise experiences and things like that but it wasn't people from south africa so it was always people from the uk the us you know places like that so i wanted like a south african who obviously has went through the whole process so that, you know, it's somebody that I can relate to because I'm also South African. And obviously, if they recommend places, it's places that are, like, close to me, you know. I'm, like, somebody who's in the UK and they're recommending, like, a visa agent that's that side. It wasn't going to work for me. So I think we need more YouTubers <laughs> that are in the cruise industry in my country that will make things easier when it comes to that department. Okay, I feel like I'm doing more talking instead of painting. But I like these questions, so... Let's go on. Look, so the color I mixed is just, <laughs> it's too light. It's a gray, but it looks more white. So I need to make it darker. And this is, I think I need to add like a bit of green, green or blue, just to get this color. I don't know if I want this exact color though, or if I know how to mix it, but let's see what we can do. So the next question, somebody asked, um, does your company have table dealer jobs? Yes, they do. I think table dealer, you mean like in the casino, right? But I know they have, yes. In, in the casino, they have that department. So if you check there, you'd probably find such positions. Okay, the next question said, how can I apply? To apply, I did do a video about that. I'll just leave the card over here and you can just see how to apply for a cruise line, cruise ship job. But yeah, I applied online. So you can do that as well. I think that's like the quickest way you can go about it but yeah the next question says what happens after eight months contract do you get another or is it over 
um, after your eight months contract you go home for vacation usually vacation will be like two to three months and if you feel like you don't want to go back and you want to stay longer like I did a couple of months back then yeah you can stay home for like six months or a year or two years it's up to you and then whenever you feel like you're ready to go back and then you just tell them you're ready to come back and then yeah you do the whole process again the medicals and yeah you go back to work and but yeah, usually vacation is like you stay home for like two months and then after two months they'll ask you, hi, you're ready to come back, we need you on this ship and then you go and you join again. You do another eight months or six months, it depends on your position and what you negotiate with your company. Guys, this color is fighting me, yeah? It is fighting me, but this is what I have. So I'm not focusing. But it's not the one I want, so... I think I'm gonna make green and then we take it from there. I did add a bit of blue to get like this color, but it's still not it. So I'm gonna add a bit of green and then we see how that goes. So I'm just gonna make green. But anyway, somebody says, then applying for a security job. Any advice? I have, um, I don't know what to say for security jobs because I'm in entertainment so obviously I can't say much when it comes to that but what I do know is that most securities well in the cruise company that I work for most securities were from they were from um, South Africa and is it Greece yeah South Africa Greece and Italy so yeah they do like hiring a lot of South Africans so I see you have a lot of securities here yeah, yes but anyway the next question somebody asked if um Oh, they asked me about salary. Do you get paid monthly or is it weekly? Okay, so this depends on the cruise line. So the company that I work for, we get paid monthly, which is great. I think I like that. Whereby where my sister works, she gets paid weekly. So I don't know if I'd want... Yeah, I think I like the monthly one. The weekly one, that's the dangerous one because in every... Okay, but uh, no, 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 never mind. I think the weekly one you can save better. But no, I like the monthly one. Like, just bring it all at once towards the end of the month. I think that's the fair one. But yeah. The next question. Is there jobs available? Yes, just check on the website. I think when I put links again underneath this video's description. So guys, just click on the links and go apply. It's that simple. Um, are you allowed to train even though you have tattoos? Train for your STC? Yes, you are allowed to train while you oopsie i keep kicking the camera but yes you are allowed to train while you have tattoos but then again it depends on the cruise line you work for and the company and the position that you got so some companies don't mind tattoos and some of them do so i think it just depends also on your position you know i mean most of the time you're wearing uniform so you could just hide your tattoo but obviously when they interview you they will ask about them and then yeah and then you guys take it from there and you discuss it if they don't want tattoos they will mention it but most of them i've seen people with tattoos on board and it was fine nobody said anything and yeah okay the next question this person hi can i please have the website page to apply i'm gonna put it in the description box below again <laughs> uh then somebody said hi i want to join you have to apply online like i did or apply through an agency as well somebody said oh i know when you came back you came back rich i know eh, I, I wish i came back rich if i came back rich then i wouldn't go back because then why am i working get now i'm rich no guys and me i like spending so it's up to you obviously i mean i feel like you can save a lot of money when working on cruise ships or you can just spend it's up to you i'm a spender but i also save so i do a bit of both so i know i did not come back rich i came back as the hard year I was <laughs> but yeah how about the age limit age limit i know you, most cruise line cruise lines just prefer you to be 21 years or older but i know when some cruise lines they do take 18 year olds going up and usually if you're like 18 or somewhere there, it's either you're doing an internship or you're like in the entertainment department, like the dancers or in the production cast. So yeah, especially in the US, they want 21 year old. Let's say you're working in the bar department, you know, in order to drink alcohol and serve alcohol, you need to be at least 21. So that's why they have that law. But yeah, I'm just swiping, looking for more questions. Um... I still have more to come home. 18 days and counting. I'm going home. Okay, these are not questions. Just people say, oh, I'm going home. This, this, this. 
Hey girl, which department are you in? I am in the entertainment department as a program publisher. Okay, somebody's asking, I am in Dubai, any chance for me? Yes, you can apply. I don't think it matters whatever country you're in because as I said, cruise lines, there's just so many people from different countries. So whether you're in Dubai or whether you're in the US, wherever, whether you're in South Africa, you can apply. And yeah, just wait for them to call you back for an interview and just see how it goes. Anyway, the next question is, did you have any work experience when you applied? No, I did not have any work experience when I applied because I was still like a fresh graduate from college. So all I had was my internship that was like, what, three weeks? So yeah, that was a bad it. But I remember when I, was, when I applied for this specific position, I saw and then it was kind of like say, they need somebody that speaks at least three to four languages because obviously you do the daily programs in like six different languages. I only know English, but I was like, well, I'm applying anyway because I'll be sitting in the computer working. So how hard can it be? Guys, it's hard, but I, I manage, I manage. But yeah, I still don't speak any of those languages, but I am slowly learning them. You know, I know a few words here and there. And yeah, mm, on to the next question. Someone is asking, what type of work visa did they sponsor you with after you got the job? So since I got a contract in the U.S., I got a U.S. visa, so it was a C1D visa. So this depends on obviously which country you're going to be working in. My other friend who's in housekeeping, she got a, um, a Schengen visa. I met her while I was doing the CCW training in Turbot. So she got a Schengen visa because she was going to... Where was she going? She's going to Italy somewhere, I just don't remember. But yeah, she got a Schengen visa and I got a US visa, which is the C1D visa. Next question. Someone is asking, where do you get the agency? I did put the links to the agency in the how to get a cruise ship job um, description, but I'll put them in again and you can apply. And then somebody's asking, do they take people from Kenya? Please help. Yes, there's so many Kenyans on board that I've met. Some of my friends are from Kenya as well that I've met on the ship. They're so lovely. So yeah, um, you can apply online. Most of them apply through an agency. I just don't know which one they use in Kenya. So what I can say is apply online and then just do your interview and take it from there. But if you do need it, I'll try and ask them what agencies they use in Kenya so I can put them in the links as well. But yeah. Can a nurse work in a cruise ship? Yes, because we have the medical departments. So we need nurses, we need doctors and all those people. So yes, a nurse can work. So you can also apply if you're interested. And yeah, we need lots of those. They're always hiring new people. So you'll definitely get a position. Um, someone said, are you paid for the month you'll be on vacation? No. No work, no pay. So no, you don't get paid when you're on vacation. You only get paid when you're on board working. That's when they literally start counting. <laughs> I wish we got paid on vacation. That would be so nice. Getting paid just to sleep and do nothing at home. That would be the best thing ever. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Next question. I wanted to apply, but I don't have a passport. When are they hiring again? But if you want to work on cruise ships, you need a passport. You need to have a passport at least. At least start with the passport, that's the important one, that's the main one. I think they even ask in the questions, they like when you're just filling in your, de your basic details, they ask, do you have a passport? Because then it's just easier for them to like give you a contract if you have a passport, because what will be next is just medicals, training and the visa process. So now obviously if you don't have a passport, it just makes things harder because now you have to wait and get your passport. But these days it's quick to get your passport as well. So. Yeah, get your passport just to make the process a bit easier because it's a lot of paperwork that's needed. So, passport should be the first thing you get. <laughs> yes, my camera is just fighting me today. Hey? It just cut while I was still answering the question. But they said, um, are there any jobs I can do at 19? So, I'm still saying, like, yeah, if I'm mostly in the entertainment, in, in the entertainment department, that's where I see like 18, 19 year olds, or if it's somewhere outside, maybe in the engine room or deck department that's way out to like a few 18 19 year olds but that's when they're doing their internships so it's either you're there doing your intern or you're in entertainment but mostly it's 21 year olds going up so yeah 
Hey sis, I'm a makeup artist. Please, which job can I apply for? Please help. Makeup artist, I think you can apply in the, um, what is it? In the spa department. And yeah, spa, usually they use like agencies or directly on the website. Again, on the links, you can go, when you go to the careers tab, you just go to the spa department and then apply for the position you want. I think it's called beauty therapist or something like that. And yeah, that's where you're going to be doing people's makeup, um, um, eyelashes, nails, and then there's the, the girls that do the massages and yeah. But yeah, beauty therapist or they're going to say nail tech or makeup artist. I'm just not sure what they titled, but it's in the spa department. And one of the agencies, I think it's called One Spa World. I remember the was Stena, but I, think, I don't know if it's still a thing now or if they changed their company name. But I'll find out and put the links in the description box below. And yeah, next question. Do the cruise ship agencies pay for everything? Hmm, no. Agencies, they don't pay for anything. Agencies just help you get the job. So they guide you through the application process and say, oh, you need your visa now, you need this, this, that from the company. The company is the one that pays for like your flights and things like that. I know some companies you pay for your own flights and then when you get on board they give you the money back same thing with like of medicals and things like that with my company they paid for my flights medicals i paid for myself stc training i paid for myself um visa i paid for myself covid test i paid for myself so when you get back on board you just just keep your, rece your receipts and yeah when you get on board you just give it to them and then yeah you get your money back so i think i got money back for the stcs uh covid test visa medicals they don't reimburse so with my company yeah so just keep all your slips and then you'll be fine i don't know if you guys can see the difference right look at the white see this is the old white that's chipping off and then this is the white that i'm reviewing and i can't wait to see how it's gonna look like when it's done and i think i'm gonna add the detailing here because now it's looking a little empty and dull but excited next question do you need to pay anything when you're applying yeah you do need to you need to pay for a lot of things actually <laughs> i did a whole video about how much i spent before um getting on a cruise ship so that's your documents your visas your everything and i think i put the total amount there i just forgot how much it was but i'll link it up here in the cards and you can watch the video as well then you can have an idea of how much you need to spend roughly and you might not need to get all the things that i got because it depends on the position some positions will want you to do a police clearance and things like that i didn't do that for my position so yeah okay so this person says hey sweetness thank you so much for the information may i kindly ask did you attach your documents as well did i attach my documents like when i was applying because when I was applying, I didn't have to attach any documents. I just, okay, with some cruise lines, I did. Like, I remember some cruise lines wanted, like, a copy of my passport. So I did attach that. And I did get a question where somebody was asking me um, that a specific cruise line is asking for her, her passport. And is it, like, a scam or anything like that? But I don't think it's a scam. They just want to make sure that, you know, you have your passport. So that's why they're asking for it. Just to see if you have one or not. And, yeah. So yeah, in some applications, I did have to attach my um, CV as well as my a copy of my passport. And then some cruise lines, no, I just did the application and that was it. So it really just depends on where you're applying because they all require different information. I think this is the step. I don't like where the paint hasn't dried, so it looks a little... Like, can you see how it's... It looks like it has patches well way I did the white like it's not looking very good and then yeah obviously I still need to do the whole of that because you can clearly see the difference this white here looks a bit dirty and then this one it's cleaner but also it doesn't have that smooth effect yet so once it dries up I'd have to go in with like a second coat and a third coat maybe I don't know but I think it'll look good when it's done you just have to wait and see but anyway i have low shading right now so i can't switch my lights on and it's about a good dark i can see that so maybe i'll stop for a while because i also don't want to paint in the dark right 
Wait, I have that light thing. I can use this slow shading light. Ooh. But I don't think it's fully charged. Yeah, it's not charged. If it's doing this, it's not really charged. But I was gonna use this to paint with it one way it gets dark. But I guess I'll finish painting when the lights come back. Then I'll show you guys how the final looks like and answer the rest of the questions. We still got so many questions to go through. So yeah. Hey guys, I basically stopped recording last night because I had low shooting and stuff. But I did kind of finish painting. This is how it looks like so far. I don't know if I should add more of the white detailing here or if I should leave it like this. But this is how it is when it's all dried up. I fixed the white. And the back is just the plain color. But it looks better now from how it did in the beginning. So yeah, I just wanna just fix the rough edges and then yeah. But anyway, I have another question. So this person is saying, hey, I'm a bit confused about the courses that I can do to get a job there. I was thinking of doing paramedics or beauty therapy, maybe massages, nails. I don't know, please help. Um, with this one, I think it depends. Um, what can I say? I think with this one, it depends. You should do what you like. So obviously, if you're into things like beauty and things like that, then yeah, you should study something along those lines. If you're into things like entertainment, then you could study musical theater, things like that, you know. So I think it's always good that you do what you like. And then once you have your diploma or degree, then look at um, possible cruise line careers that align with what you study. For example, I did um, graphic design because obviously I wanted something where I'm at the computer and I'm doing the digital stuff. But I also like the visual where I'm like painting like now. But yeah, so I wanted... Since I did graphic design, I wanted something where I'm going to be on the computer. And obviously I was trying to look for a graphic design position on board, but there is no graphic design or position on board. There's only um, things in um, within design, like um, you can be a media manager, you can work in the multimedia department where you edit the app and things like that. So those are things that I like. So those were positions I was applying for. And then even the one that I'm doing, it kind of in, involves copywriting and things like that, which I did in design. You know, I have to make sure the layout is fine. So it is related to things I studied. It's still within design. It's just titled differently, I guess. So you just have to look for them. I remember I was even looking um, for things in the printing department. Then I was applying for those positions because I was like, okay, you need to be able to use Illustrator and these programs. I can use them. So I was applying. So yeah, I think you should look at that as well, you know. Uh, what other example can I make? I mean, if let's say you're a nurse, you can apply in the medical field and look at things you can do on board as a nurse. Same thing with, let's say you've worked in, you've worked as a receptionist. You can look at, I don't know, guest service. Yeah, guest service agent. So there's a lot of positions on board. So just pay whatever you're doing with, um, whatever position they have on board and then apply and then add your experience on your CV and yeah, you'll be good. Okay, but yeah, I think I'm just fixing the rough edges, but I think this is about it. This is how I'm going to leave it. I'm just fixing the rough edges and then yeah, it should be fine and ready to be hanged. Well, not here in the kitchen, but oopsie. <laughs> it's going to be hanged somewhere in the kitchen like that. Yeah, I think I need more white over there. But yeah, something like that. But anyway, let's get to the last question and wrap this video up. Hey, Cookie, so um, can I please ask something? It's something I'd love to do this year. Okay, it's something I'd love to do this year. I just wanted to ask regarding payments if you get paid in rands or dollars, or it depends on the cruise ship you're working on. I think. I think all cruise lines pay in dollars. I'm not sure though, but that's what I heard. Because a lot of my friends that work on different cruise lines, they get paid in dollars. Some of them get paid weekly and some of them get paid monthly. I got paid monthly. I like the monthly one. But yeah, most of them are in dollars. I know even the one that um, the ones that sail to South Africa, it's still in dollars. Yeah, you're working in South Africa, but you're getting paid in dollars, which is nice. Yeah, but yeah, usually it's in dollars, so 
it's not red <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next chit chat paint with me send me your questions via instagram dm on tiktok or right here on, on youtube you can leave the comments in the description box below and yeah next time we'll be painting i don't i have so many things to paint so i'm trying to like get all these paint paintings out of the way and things that i need to paint for the house so yeah let's paint together and chat bye guys